Hi guys, so today we are meeting at Indochine. It's Friday night and it was snowing. Yes, it was in April when it was still snowing when we taped this video. The big idea today is to recreate or get inspired by the incredible Anna Karina's look. So that's why I picked Indochine because it's such an iconic place in New York and the vibe is exactly what I was into uh, for this look and also I love the atmosphere, I love the food, it's really a place I enjoy to go to. So today I'm gonna trick a little bit Anna Karina's look. I'm not gonna go exactly how she used to wear it because my features are a bit different. So I'm gonna go thicker, larger, like a more important eyeliner. But the idea is just to get inspired. First thing for me is to have a complexion that is absolutely not heavy. So I'm just gonna have concealer around my eyes and around my lips. This time I'm gonna have the concealer on top of my eyelid because I love the effect it gives when you apply the black liner. Um, your, your eyelid's gonna push the color and the contrast and you're gonna see it more. For the highlighter, I'm not gonna go with something too metallic or too dry. I wanna keep it super natural. Always, when I have a strong statement somewhere, to keep the rest super minimum and super light. The idea is to be um, effortless. So I apply it all over the highlight zone that I'm sure you guys know. Now I'm gonna have the pink blush. I really love this one because it's a beautiful color that is not too pinky, um, not too nude, it's really in between. And it's super velvety, so it makes my skin look super nice. So I was very excited about this blush. And now I'm gonna pad again on top of the highlighter just to make it um, smooth and even. So I'm not going to do eyeliner with a liquid one, but just with a black pencil. The key for me is really to go between the lash and to color the roots, and then we can start to draw a line on top. So really, you can see I'm going between the roots of each lash, because for me, I don't like when I see the roots being bare, because it makes me feel like my lashes are super poor and like I don't have enough hair, so it kind of drives me crazy. <laughs> and then I can draw a line on top. So as you can see, it was a pretty thick line. I don't really care about the shape um, because I'm gonna use this tape and I'm gonna put it like following the shape of my bottom lash line. And then I'm gonna start to draw a thicker line on top of what I just drew and make it straight. I don't like when the liner is too curvy. I like when it's more straight because it's just gonna make my eyes super almondy and the shape more modern. And now with the brush, I'm going to make it more perfect. So when you start with the eye pencil, don't worry about making it great because the brush is going to help so much. So a very thin and flat brush and I'm going to perfect the shape and then I'm going to blend the edges. The idea of blending the edges is to make it less hard, less graphic, so less trying too hard. That's why when now that I remove the tape, I'm going to blend the part that was under it to make sure that the whole feeling is like this intense black liner and super thick but with these soft edges. I love to have those sort of details in everything, you know, details are making the magic so even if you can really tell you're gonna feel an attitude in your beauty that's gonna be thanks to those details. So having a thick eyeliner but then having a soft edge is gonna make it much more accessible, much more wearable. So having a Q-tip like this in your bag is pretty convenient because you can just correct any mistake you just did. So now I'm taping again, following the shape of my lash line and then making my liner line uh, with the eye pencil. And then with the eyeshadow that is sort of a creamy uh, powdery texture, I'm gonna make a straight line, pretty thick, don't be scared to make it too thick. Then at the same time I'm gonna blur the edge. So the tape is super helpful because when you draw like such a big liner, you most of the time you're scared, you don't know how far you can go and have a tape. For, for me it was very helpful because I can just go for it. I feel like the tape is <laughs> saving me a little bit from any mistake I can do. And then you have right away this sharp line and you can make it shorter or a bit thinner if you prefer. Um, but the tape is giving you like a good um, hand. So here we go, and with um, the rest of the product that is on the brush, I'm just going to color a little bit the bottom lashes. So you see I'm doing a different way of her makeup, but the idea was to be just inspired by her and making a little bit more like me, feeling my features. 
But for the black mascara, I'm gonna go on the bottom and the top lashes. I don't like to wear false lashes because I feel like, again, it's gonna look too done, not natural. And I love to have always this balance, like I just said, of something overdone, something um, that has balls, and then at the same time, something that is more natural and super easy and accessible. And that's why I'm not going to wear anything on my lips. So a few amount of products and a simple technique. But I know that eyeliner is quite hard to do because you have to find the shape that is going to match your features. It took me a while, even as a makeup artist, to find the perfect shape liner for me. So guys, don't be worried if the first time is not looking good. You just have to try over and over again. I feel like we should all know how to do one black liner. It's like having a little black dress because then we can like pimp it and have so much fun with it. There is a million ways of wearing it.